All right, hey y'all. Uh, welcome back to the More Than Love podcast. I'm Fine Wine. And I'm Innocence. And we have a special guest uh, with us today. Her name is Shay Monet. Can you, t- can you tell the world you know, who you are and what you Hi, do? Hi, I'm Shay Monet. I am a model and an actress. And the, hopefully this year I'll begin my journey as a public speaker, as an influencer as well. So that's me. Okay, okay. So we've been knowing you for like a long time, probably at least six Six years, probably six, seven, maybe. Twenty eleven. Yeah, okay, twenty eleven. Yeah. Cause I think I first met you when I went to Slu. Well, I didn't go there by the fashion show, and then we had a group of friends over there with the Wolfpack. I wasn't at the fashion show. It was but I met you through them. Yeah. yeah. And so I think you you were probably modeling at that point in time. We were kind of friends on Facebook, not but not for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you had a uh, what was it? Did you live in Kingston, Jamaica, or something like that? It's still something. I'm like, <laughs> I just seen it last week though. You, but I'm like, maybe that's where she's from. I mean, you look. I mean, exactly. I'm not, being from Decatur, you know, you see somebody like that, you be like, okay, it's probably, they're probably, 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 probably from Jamaica, most likely. <laughs> but uh, from then, you know, we started out doing that, and then you, you know, I get for for me the house, and you kind of took a pause, and then after that, you got back into it, and mm-hmm. then you just started doing a lot more work and everything. So you know, so talk talk about you know why do you do it? Um, I started, honestly, I started modeling because people was like, you should model. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it wasn't like, I heard a lot of people say something like, oh, I've been wanting to do this since I was, I was a tomboy. I didn't want to model. Yeah. Just walking in heels. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do that. But people kept saying it to me, so I was like, okay, I'll try. Okay. Then I got into it, and then I liked it. Mm-hmm. So I started doing it, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm meeting a lot of people. It was fun. Um, I did my first photo shoot with a photographer named Patrick Lanham, mm-hmm. and he actually uh, shoots a lot. He shoots a lot of military things, but he does a lot of editorials mm-hmm. for high fashion magazines. Like he shot for Elle and Vogue and stuff like that before, yeah. and his photos were dope. So me and um, one of my friends, Matisse mm-hmm. uh, Stutter Bay, she said, okay, let's do that. And we did that as like a friend shoot. Okay. but. I was like, okay, I want to do more of this. I want to do something similar to this. And I started doing it because when I feel like there were a few people that looked like me that were modeling, but I probably was unaware of them. And I'm like, okay, I like seeing me on a big photo. Yeah. Okay, this is cute. And I seen a little girl that told me she was like, she liked my shoot. Okay. And she was just like, I didn't think that we could do that. And I was like, what do you mean you don't think that we could do that? Because I'm like, okay, there's plenty of black models. She was like, I didn't think that we could do that like you know I know African girls do that but I didn't know somebody as dark as us that was American and do stuff like that and it just kind of made me raise a brow and I was like oh okay yeah. and it was fun for me to hear so like when you hear stuff like that it kind of just make you want to start doing it and I was like oh I'm gonna just and and then a lot of people kept telling me I was honestly saying inspirational stuff like I was inspiring them and I didn't understand how because I didn't see it as a big deal so okay. So you found why people kind of felt you found you inspirational at that point not necessarily understood why but that made me want to keep going yeah. okay and then right now do you feel like you got some type of understanding yeah, i get it now i get it now like, okay, like, no nah, I'm, I'm here for change yeah i get it now and that's part of the reason why i want to do public speaking as well um so that I can use my platform to inspire girls that look like me to go after what it is that they want to do. Not limited to modeling, but I, I realize that uh, representation, it really does matter. I'm big on that because people used to only say things like, oh, you know, you got Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union is not the only black actress out there, you know, right, right. but that's all that people thought that I could look forward to. And I'm just like, okay, out of all these other ethnicities and stuff, you never say, oh, well, you know, there's, you know, if a model, oh, there's Kate Moss. You don't limit white women to Kate Moss as a model or anything. Right. So why is it that when it comes to chocolate you, women, you yeah, we limit it to the three people that y'all yeah. may know about. Like, yeah. that's how I be feeling. So um, if you see yourself in a different place or somebody mm-hmm. that look like you, you'll aim for more than what you think that you're allowed to touch. Okay. Everybody don't want to be a trailblazer. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Very true. Yeah. That's very true. We'll get more into that either as this thing progresses, you know. So, in the time where you okay, people say you need to do this, you need to do that, and you just, I think that's kind of like an athlete. If he's tall, he needs to play sports, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so when you realize, okay, well, I do, I actually do like this. I can get something out of it to you know give me some type of pleasure or you know access. Um, how did you start making things happen for yourself? 
Yeah. And on that note, first, that was the first place. Yeah. You know, pop the bottle. Pop the bottle. <laughs> they the same. Spoon. 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 <laughs> because I, you know, the reason why I got Savante because I'm like, it's because I, I'm a I'm a brute I'm a brute type of guy, and I realized I'm like I got two people that I like. They like sweet things, so I'm just like, we like it sweet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just like, well, that's just how we'll make it happen today. Man, really, it's supposed to be a tilt. Yeah, it's supposed, supposed to be a tilt. tilt. But he, but he was he wasn't trying to treat you with respect. Well, no, I'm not. But but. When people realize they faults, they correct them if they care. You did, you did. Okay, you, only if they care. You did, because if you didn't, it was just like, whatever. Whatever. It's for the camera. It yeah. doesn't. It doesn't for the camera. <laughs> because if it wasn't the camera right here, he would just kept Yeah, he would've just, first off, it would've hey, splashed all over the place. Oh man, disrespectful. Mm, it's all love, you know right? This is a love table. We well, right now I'm, I'm not too fond of Dan at the moment. What do you do? I just don't know. Right now, he, it's Dan. I've done. Gee, <laughs> you saw me when I walked in the door. No, she didn't. You don't know why? She was getting herself together. But let me tell you what I was doing. Nothing. Okay. God didn't have me doing nothing. You got the lunch tonight. What you doing? Oh, that's right. So my bad. Our fault. She, she's still I'll, brunchy right she's now. Brunchy. She's still a little brunchy. Um, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna say what time it is, but it's kind of dark. I didn't, thought, I didn't think that it was limited to what I had in my cup, in my cup. Uh, oh, oh, that you know what? We don't limit people here. We okay. don't. I, I, okay. I didn't think so. Once aspirations. This, this how I live my life. Oh, you know, this how oh. I'm just living. Okay. Oh, how y'all living? Oh, oh, oh. She doing herself a favor. She doing herself a favor. I am minding my business. Minding her exactly. business. The pay is her. So just for the people out there, you know what I'm saying? When you get her next interview ready, because you know what I'm saying, she's gonna be on the big screen. <laughs> Have her motherfucking. No, don't do that. It's Pomante. It's Pomante. And have some orange juice. juice. If you ain't got the orange juice, you're doing it wrong. Right. But uh, I digress. It's so it's to to the occasion. Right. Yeah. All right. This ain't even a shot, y'all. Why we do that? Because. Hey, that's fine. See, because it gives you your bitter tone. That's mm -hmm. it. I swear. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I like the bitter. He's like, oh, it's not sweet. I can do that. So, you know, so how are you making it happen for yourself? Okay, so like the networking portion that I wasn't ready for, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, like what's the groundwork? Uh, you do have to do your research. You have to know, because there's a difference of the type of modeling that the category that you fall into versus the type of modeling that you want to do. Okay. Like I would love to do high fashion and I'm pretty slim, but High fashion models are usually smaller than me. It's like zero to two. Mm -hmm. Unless you got your connect and then they just like, we finna run with this person. Like, unless you've already made your name for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I would like to do that because there are more, um, the style of shooting is more, I don't know, I guess it shows more creativity to me. And um, when they're, you know, using their designs and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm kind of inspired by that, like fantasies and stuff like that. But I think I do better with commercial modeling, at least in the Midwest. So that's okay. why I'm trying to move from the Midwest because it, it kind of puts limitations on you unless you're like creating your own content and doing your own stuff and showing them, hey, I can already do this. Yeah. So you should put me here. So for the, I put the audience, what is commercial modeling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so like the models that you see on TV or you see the one on the model on the Coles commercial or in the catalogs and stuff like that, that's you know life insurance commercial when you see them those are commercial models there's not a set age range for that because we need older people we need stuff stuff that resembles real life situations you don't have people that are a zero to two all the time you have people that look like the situation they're in that you know whatever that particular commercial is about um and that's kind of what i fall into or when i do get work that's mm -hmm. usually where i get my work from and you're saying high fashion what's that High fashion modeling, like, so would you, when you see the couture runway shows and stuff, like, mm -hmm. that's high fashion. Okay. And where do they wear those, those outfits to? Like, no. That, <laughs> no one. Like, they just you get, in the house. You yeah. get, no, you get the idea. So, the inspiration for the things you see in the store yeah. come from those lines. So, when they do, like, a trash bag line, like, I mean, literally, like, where are you wearing like that? Be wearing trash I mean, bag. I know you've seen, like, clear, transparent material jackets. Like, right. those are in stores now. Everything is somehow transferred over and how we can do everyday work. Mm. 
So that's where you get it. So when you see the runway shows and it's like, okay, it's fashion week and you see the colors and then all of a sudden from the runway, you see that's the color scheme that's in the store. That's what's selling. Okay. That's usually what the trend is going to be. So, um, okay. okay. that type of stuff. But I like, I like uh, to do editorial, like print work. I love print work because I like seeing myself on the picture. It's okay. just, I mean, you kind of get consumed. You're like, dang, that's me. Like, I look good. That mm -hmm. is me because, I mean, you don't look like that at home. Mm -hmm. Like, my everyday life res uh, could resemble somebody else's. I'm not glammed up every day or nothing like that. Like, I'm not even today, I, I walked in. I'm not glammed up. Yeah. But I'm cool, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, but on my photos, that's a whole other realm that I don't get to see every day. So, so. that shame on there? The way you get on guys. Shame on is a lot of things. It's just depend on when you catch me. Okay. Like uh, sometimes <laughs> I, I ran into somebody and they was like, I didn't know you was wearing tennis shoes because on my pictures on social media, like when I go out, I'm dressed up. Mm -hmm. But like I really am sweatpants, tennis shoes. Hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. My hair don't really be tied. I hope you don't take it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. Be fine. But so, I be I be chilling. So. I, I caught it, I just dismissed no, it. It, it wasn't just, funny. I didn't know it. No, it's uh, cool. It just, right over. It but but how did I know the, the song? It just wasn't funny. It's okay. I'll bring it back later. You know it's what? still not going to be funny. <laughs> it might be. It's not. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, this fight's this, this here. <laughs> so, it's no all fight. Part, it's all part of shit. It's no fight. Right, it's, it's, it's all part. Y'all not going to do this to me. No, no, no. So, all right. So, what has the experience been like since the beginning to now? Um, like what have some of the ways you had to like counterfeit some decisions that you have made or you know what you know how did you bounce back from adversity I honestly I had to get played like everybody is trying to do something so when I first started I had people that like my look mm -hmm. oh you should shoot with me I should do this for you mm -hmm. but when you don't know what you when you just like starting off and a lot of people just want pictures yeah. you open the shoot with almost anybody and every anybody that got a camera that then showed you some pictures you're like cool I can do this I didn't run into people that I slick feel like should be locked up for stuff mm -hmm. um creeps people that will tell you Oh, uh, you know, you can change back there, but you got to keep the door open. And it's like, what am I getting? Right. Yeah, why, and, why, you why know, like those type of situations or people like, oh, okay, <laughs> I need you to, you know, get completely naked for your measurements. And it's like, I got Stop. my measurements. It's cool. I got them. The, you know, the, the agency I just tried to go to, they got them. I have them for you. Mm -hmm. And they was like, oh, well, we want to measure you. And it's not like it's a group of people. It's always this one off person that nobody has ever heard of. So then you try to like I get torn in between or I was torn in between. Should I tell other people about this? What if I tell them and they, they try to make me out to a bad person? Um, you try not to get a bad rep. So you like tiptoe over certain situations. Mm -hmm. I've definitely grown out of that. Um, Cause I I feel like I treat, I treat everybody decently. Like I, I go in, I do my job. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that you need to be going in anywhere and trying to be anybody other than who you are. Mm -hmm. Because the moment I tried to be somebody else, I was picking up gigs and I didn't want to do. Then I start like I stopped enjoying it. So that's when when you had met me and you was I had took a break. Yeah. I didn't I didn't enjoy it anymore. I wasn't getting anything from it. Everybody wants to, you know, you get things a lot of things from you for free. They keep telling you how much you work but they don't want to pay you how much you work mm -hmm. or you know compensate mm -hmm. you in whatever way and I had been doing it too long so then people are like oh you think you this and you think you that I do and you think I am too because that's why you keep hitting me up to work with me so mm -hmm. what is it and then you in an area like in St. Louis we got people that have a preference of working you know we all got our go-to people mm -hmm. you might have your go-to model they might have their go-to photographer you might have your go-to team to do your makeup and stuff like that and then it gets hard to try to work with other people oftentimes because if something comes up, they already, it ain't even like no casting. Yeah. So you kind of can't get in in certain places if you don't already know that person. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that makes it difficult. It can make it difficult for a lot of people. I've been on both ends of that. I've been the person that some people just call and I didn't have to audition mm -hmm. or cast for anything. And I've also been a person like, dang, how come I can't? walk for this person in this show or you know do certain things and it's just like okay so now i'm at a point where i can pick and choose what i want to do 
uh, and we're expanding. We're traveling because I want to get paid for it. Or my agency is like, okay, well, you can't do that because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got it. Got to make sense. So, so what are some things that you had to look look out for? You know, like you talked about, you know, people the, the, the scammers. scammers. That's what you got to look out for. People, people are trying to sell you a dream if you don't know what you're looking for. That's why the researching part is so important. Like the amount of mayhem gets you in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm. A, <laughs> no, that's, I, why, that's too much for me. Everybody thinks that their project or what they got going on is like dope. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but people will try to cut corners where they can. If they can cut corners with you, they gonna do it. So what are you gonna stand for? Mm -hmm. Like that's what I'm. What's okay? What's acceptable? Like people have tried to downplay certain things. Oh, I didn't do this, and I'm like, have you looked at how in other cities were like fashion and, and modeling and stuff like that when they were they getting paid and stuff like how they do it mm -hmm. it's like they don't do it like this and you don't have to do it like this but i mean have a barter system or something like mm -hmm. you got to be able to compensate people you have to make sure that when you work with somebody even if you're not paying them like money that is worth their while that's, that's why like i be telling people don't come to me with the same concept you already seen me do yeah. they be like shay i seen you you did this i love that can you do it for me okay so what you going like Let's, yeah, let's write this out. Where, where am I getting paid at? Because why would I recreate something that I already yeah, just no. did for the I'm free? Okay. <laughs> for yeah, like for shut up. <laughs> I'm not even mad at it. But that's real though. Yeah. Like, when you think about it, it's just like why would I keep on doing the same thing that I've been doing if I'm not gonna get paid differently? Mm -hmm. Or if it's not gonna like if connect it's, me it's to no if it's, it's not gonna connect me to nothing bigger. Cause I'm not I'm, like I'm not gonna leave my house for a uh, club shoot mm -hmm. when when I just shot one last week and it's not gonna benefit me anywhere anywhere down the line because I'm not gonna get no money at the club like there's no I'm not gonna get any type of extra work so it's just like I'm I'm out there pointlessly drinking wasting time I could be well there. different people come in and out of club so I mean if the person the club is you got like your local little bar around yeah. the corner and then you got the big the 40 40 if you go mm -hmm. you know somewhere i mean if you shoot at the 40 40 you probably gonna get a little more business True. than you would here and, and like we talked like i think it was this week or last week we talked about this networking and like what the the imperativeness if like but if you have if you know people it just doesn't feel like you need to do certain things uh so, yeah sometimes i mean but that's that's the benefit of the network yeah. like Sometimes you've you've worked so long to establish this network mm -hmm. that that's what it's for. So when I do, I'm like, dang, I, I, I'm out of options in my head. I don't have any more options. Let me call such and such because yeah. they are the plug for this. Mm -hmm. And then they can hook you up with that because you've worked with them on so many different occasions. And they be like, they can vouch for you. They can vouch for, hey, this person character, legit. Mm -hmm. This person work, legit. They're not going to play you. They're not going to stand you up. And then... Based off of their network, you know who they are. They just linked you into some. Yeah, they they didn't put you on somewhere else too. Like I want to be able to be there, mm -hmm. and I want the girls that are looking at me do my thing to see that, and then be like, you know what? I see that I can do that too. I don't have to keep getting played by all these different people. I mean, it's gonna happen. Yeah. It's it's, it's right, likely it's, to happen. It's part of it's part of it. It's yeah, part of it. Like, but, yeah, cause <laughs> you, you can vet out all you want to, but somebody gonna get through the cracks in the, in, in that industry. And you yeah. need that. You know what I'm saying? That, you that's need something that. to just, I feel like that's just something to knock you back down. Like, you, you still gotta be on your P's and Q's no P's matter what. Yeah. No, matter, no, matter, no matter where you are, no matter who you know, if somebody can do you dirty, it could be your best friend. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So always be on the lookout. And I think getting into this industry, like me from being from Decatur, like I ain't no models at that point in time, like being from Decatur. So what you see and what you hear is like, oh, they'll try to take advantage of it, your photo shoot, stuff like that. And so we weren't aware to certain things. But when you are actually in the midst, it's like, okay, well, this is actually how it goes. And so learning that. And so could, what would you tell an inspiring model, like how to carry themselves to be more successful? <sighs> That's not a deep. Um... I, I don't know how I would like what or how I would say to somebody because for instance I've heard from other people that people thought I was mean people didn't think that I was fun like you know I'm goofy I'm like <laughs> yeah a lot of people think that so but because people thought I was mean they didn't think I was nothing to play with that that's also true it's, it's not you know it's not faking right there but 
it's certain things I feel like people, because of them thinking that I was mean or them thinking that I would instantly um, not take any of that, that BS, they that didn't people try didn't try certain stuff try like that with me. No, they don't. Um, they don't, like I said, don't mean stuff ain't happened with me, but people ain't tried me and certain, certain stories that I hear. And I'm like, how you let somebody do that? Or how you mm -hmm. let somebody? And it's not that you let somebody do that, but it's people you that. You got a vibe that they can at least try it. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people just poke. Be like, you know what? But I'm this too big of a bird. They, they so, got it. I don't understand why people, people just, love like like testing boundaries. You, like you, I don't, I don't ever get that. It's just like if I if I know I test this boundary, this could happen. You this test could, boundaries though. Barely. I don't, I, do I test boundaries? Yes. You do, and not even not not like, even. Not with every people. testing boundary is a negative thing, right? Right. Like in that in those situations, absolutely, it's like. Wow, first off, like you really tried this. Everybody tries to cut corners. You know what I'm saying? But you try to make people try to make things easier for them. So it's not it's not to say that you're trying to cut out what you're doing, but if I don't have to put this much work into this, then I won't. That's exerting a lot of energy where I can use that yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah. So if me getting you to do something that you may, you know, that I I probably have to pay you a lot for, but you're gonna do for the free. Like, for instance, dudes, not dudes, but photographers often ask new models, do they want to shoot nudes or implied nudes? And not necessarily. Watch out for that. Yeah, but it, different models don't mind. But. Because these models be in the milk bath <laughs> with cereal around and saying this. Crispy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 Sometimes you know. talk about art though. And, and, yeah, right, and but you, you got a girl with a leg up, up, up and a fire hydrant pissing like a dog. You, you got these photographers hey, trying hey, to take advantage of these models. Not, like, that's why I started doing what I'm doing. Advantage. Because I'm like, right. It's some shit is just pure them feeling Ain't no like that's that. art. Ain't, Ain't no art. Man. You can't say you that. Can't you can't say that. You got these raggedy ass photos with these models. You are, this is my, this is my. Somebody gonna buy it. Talk to them. And so they don't mean that they are so, so, so the thing is, the thing is, are we just doing things so that people buy it? Because some people I mean, are though. So people, that's what I'm saying. You gotta be a pervert to buy some shit like that. There's perverts out there, right? But that's not, <laughs> and that's I, you know what? I can't even say that's not art because it's not my type of art. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. But you know, when I got into this industry and all, when I got behind the camera, I wanted to start saving models from these people because I, I got taken advantage. Well, try to get taken advantage of doing the photo shoot. And just being that, I made I would I made a vow that I would never be a person that would try to take advantage pushing those type of boundaries because those if it ain't already known before like that's the vibe, then I'm not gonna put that on you because it's business for over anything and right. people and people fucking up their businesses trying to hey can you come over and do this shoot but you just really want to get to know you really want to hang out with them instead. Okay. Okay. So even now now that you just said that, if I could tell them anything, I would say trust yourself. Like trust your gut, trust, mm. trust, trust your gut. Because if you don't feel like it's right, then it's not right. And that don't mean that the person not right, that just means it ain't right for you. And everything yeah. that you get into ain't for you. Right. So you have to trust yourself. If you like, I'm uncomfortable with this, especially when you don't know the industry like that, you're not with a rep or nobody came with you and you don't trust to get up out of there. If that person is who they say you are or who they say they are that you're shooting with, you can always go back and revisit that. Mm -hmm. It should never be a closed door, and they should never have an issue with that or with you later about that. Comfortable about that, right. like, because know. they know the business, they know what's going on out here. They know, like, especially in the Midwest, how like sex trafficking is, all this stuff. People are taking girls are disappearing, like that's a real thing. So you would have to trust your gut, and you have to stand on something before you go anywhere. Tell yourself what you're gonna stand on, mm -hmm. and and don't leverage that for anything. Because once you leverage that, you're gonna leverage everything else. And you don't want to lose yourself in something that's you're not guaranteed to make it. Mm -hmm. You're not guaranteed to get to where you want to. Yeah. You can always keep working, but like you're not going to necessarily be a star. You have to like what you do. Mm -hmm. So set you do have to set boundaries for yourself and make sure that you're safe. And then let people know where you at. Don't try to do stuff. I mean, you don't have to let everybody know what you did, but. Let people know where you at, but stick to what it is. Keep your integrity. Yeah, you, know, like, you got it. But when you, cause when you hear people like, oh well, this person did that third, <coughs> that third to get where they are. But guess what? They got to keep doing that to keep going up in the ladder in the rank. So make sure you keep your your integrity because also whatever you do on your way up is definitely going to show when once it's time to keep on progressing. 
And so they gonna call you out. They definitely gonna call you they out. They gonna wanna be like, oh, well, how you do this? Or show us how you, and you don't have nothing to show because you not who you show yourself to be. Mm -hmm. Like it, it all get called out. Yeah, that's facts. So what was needed getting there to, you know, your star where you at? Oh, you think I'm a star? I mean, you something. One could say I've seen trash. <laughs> solid um, <laughs> views. I've seen solid photo shoots to where I was like, oh, bro, that's shade. Like, no, bro, did you see the show? Hey, did that's what you said? I did. Okay. At least twice. And you did too. You know what I'm saying? Stop front on me. Multiple times. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Stop front on me. Do you know who this is? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Okay, so you, you see the editorial and then you see them and you say, I know her. So, so ask me again. All right, so what was needed on your way to your start? You know what I'm saying? Whether it meaning your networking skills, time management habits, social engagement, the discipline, or self awareness, like knowing yourself, what was needed getting there? Confidence. Mm -hmm. I've uh I've definitely struggled with confidence. I'm gonna talk to that. That's big. <laughs> mine look different now. That's not the here. Um, but he's drinking, I don't know. It had to be confidence because you have to believe in you. You got friends that support you and they believe in you, but your belief, like me believing that when I take this step after this first step mm -hmm. is going to keep me from falling is what's going to keep me from falling. Mm -hmm. Not the idea that my friends think I'm not going to fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the confidence will give you like it'll give you some type of drive as well. I needed all of that because so many people always said, Shay, I think you could do this or Shay, you look like this. And I was just like. And even now, I still kind of struggle with it because I do have people that say, you know, Shay, you doing X, Y, and Z, and yeah, I don't see it as that. Mm -hmm. And um, because I don't see it like that, I don't move. Sometimes I don't move like I got it together or move like I have it, and that is a reflection of what's going on in in my head. So it, it comes off as like, why you ain't doing nothing? Like why you not following up with anything after that? Like that was great. You should keep going. And I'm over there just like, man, I should have, should have, would have, could have. And it's like, but it's already done. It's already done. So what you can do is you could change what you're going to do in the future to not reflect what you didn't like about past projects or how you dealt with a certain situation or, okay, you didn't make it to this networking event and my time management because I am, I procrastinate a lot mm. because of my confidence or lack thereof. And so I be on my way like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make it to this on time and we'll be late to something. And when you dealing with people who are spending X amount of dollars for two hours that, you know, they only need you for an hour and a half, but you can't be in the studio longer than two hours. If you're not there on time, don't nobody want to work with you. Mm. Like, yeah, you can do good work, but you don't handle your business when you need to. So like, I can't count on you, you're not dependable. Mm -hmm. And I mean, knowing those two different things that, that kind of changed my outlook on like, okay, you need to step this up. If you're serious, you're gonna step this up because if this is your livelihood and it's dependent on you to make it to these things on time or to bring your finest or come with your A game and you're not coming with it, then you're not gonna eat. You're not gonna, you're eat. Not gonna eat and then nobody wants to hire you again. So. That's a fact. Yeah, and then you know, without the confidence too, you let people give you what you they think you worth, mm -hmm. not what you think you worth. And so you could be a couple hundred dollars short of what it is you believe you're worth because you're like, oh, I take that, that's cool. And yeah. it's like it's not cool because your rent not gonna be paid because you thought that this was cool because you just trying to do something. Mm -hmm. I feel you on that. See, I, see, I, I think I was definitely I'm still playing with the confidence thing, like because. I was in that like same boat where it's like people always like you gonna do this like you gonna be the one to make it you gonna be able to do this and then that pressure you be like all right listen i'm great but damn it what are y'all seeing that is throwing me over the top for y'all because like y'all see me bigger than great and damn it i'm trying to reach it but damn it i'm fucking up excuse me frank but i'm messing up and i'm seeing it myself so how do i get to that next point where i genuinely feel how y'all saying i'm supposed to be feeling and accomplishing the things that y'all said I was supposed to accomplish. So like, event-wise, stuff like that, I was doing that when I was in high school, like throwing events, like being a manager, stuff like that. Like, we were throwing, look, we were throwing dance, dance concerts, competitions, all hey, the time. Jamestown Mall, huh? Jamestown Mall, oh no lie. 
Hey. No, you be hey. coming over here doing this to us, and you. Hey. Just, I mean, no I, guess, I guess that's why he, he leaving. He, that's why he leaving. I guess that's why he mad. leaving because he big Cause he mad. He wasn't here when James Town was popping, player. He didn't get the kid. Was it not? Uh, Did you get to go to the palace? <laughs> Hell no. Exactly. You ain't had no childhood. He ain't had no childhood. He I tell had, had an adulthood. Is that what we call it? Yeah. Cause we've been adults. I've had a successful adulthood here in St. Louis. Okay, I was a child indicator. I grew here. You, you see, know, I've been here. It became a man. Oh, so so, so, so we still raised you. So we raised you. <laughs> so we still, okay. from a boy to a man. Shout out to Baby New. Shout out to St. Louis. Okay. Found the day today, by the way. Okay. Shout out to the New. Not from Cap. Oh, 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 there's there's one of those days. Shade. One of those days. <laughs> one of those days. He's had a lot to drink, you guys. I don't one know. of those days. So, what wasn't needed <laughs> on this process of journey? Oh, I almost cursed. Other people's opinion. Mm. And and I say that because you're going to always feel that you you may need a second opinion on mm. something, but a lot of the times people don't see where you're trying to go. They see where you're coming from. So their idea of where you need to stop is not your idea of where you need to stop. So they'll say things that put a cap on what you need to do mm-hmm. or where you need to delegate your mm-hmm. time or how much effort you need to put in or how much of your finances that you need to put into something that you want to get done mm-hmm. because they don't care about it getting done. And they'll say it and you'll hear you'll hear all that in the background and they'll also like throw you off because you're just like, you know what? Maybe so and so is right. Maybe I shouldn't be spending my whole check into getting this backdrop or this outfit made because this is the vision I have. Mm-hmm. And because you you listen to that, like these people that you care about and you care about their opinions, sometimes you you listen to that and then you put a cap on what it is that you're able to do. And then you sit there, I shoulda, woulda, coulda, mm-hmm. and then you go back into that whole cycle again. Like, dang, if only I woulda. It's not necessary a lot of the times. It's Especially from people that have not been there. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people that have not been there are going to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Man. Now, I mean, it's a little different because, like, for instance, Serena and Venus, their dad is not a tennis player, but he taught her, you know, mm-hmm. them. And they, <laughs> look at, look who they are. Genius. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but there's only so many people that you're going to run into on that level that can give you a heads up and something and how to help you embrace your journey. Yeah. But a lot of times people aren't telling you anything to embrace your journey. They're telling you things to embrace how you are in their life. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't, you know, so, man, you a dope photographer, but you shooting so much is taken away from my time or how I need you. So you should only do this much shooting because it's not beneficial to me mm-hmm. and how you are in my life. Mm-hmm. I think that's how a lot of people think or like me. I don't think you should be traveling because I got this event coming up, but you're not gonna make this event. And even though you want to do, that's how people look at things. Yeah, that's right. I so, told somebody a couple weeks ago, don't plan your event around me. <laughs> like I'm not the main focus. It's not first of all, it's not my event. So true. don't you I'm know? That's definitely true. And I think I'm glad that I you know hung around you for a little while because you're the one that helped me realize it doesn't matter what nobody else thinks. Do what you're gonna do. Figure that out and live that authentically. Mm-hmm. And once you said. You know, taught me that these niggas ain't got your best intention. You know what I'm saying? Just when you when you going out, it's just you and the clothes on your back. When you realize that, you can be successful because you got to put your feet to the ground and make the work happen for yourself, mm-hmm. right? And that's why I think the next question, you know, is so important. Like, how important do you think it is to expand your brand? Like, and what did that actually look like? Okay, so are you you asking me as Shay Monet how important it is for Shea Monet to expand, or like in general? Mm. Let's do both. Yeah, I'm about to say. So in general, I mean, I really think it depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. Like some people do a lot of stuff because it's a hobby, so they don't really care where it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, you gotta understand when you're doing something, you're doing it for the mission. And once you, you know, you're sticking towards the mission, whatever your mission is, whatever it is, the reason, your passion behind it, then you can see how you can make it lucrative. And then you're like, okay, well I'm good at this. Yeah. Like not only do I enjoy this and I'm feeling deeply about this, I'm good at this. And if I'm not good at this, I can set it up to where I can employ somebody who is good at executing this mm-hmm. and make this happen because I want to see this happen. Right. So, I mean, it, it depends. Like, are, are you trying to reach a lot of people? Or are you doing this just because, you know, I feel I can give back to people? Gotcha. For me, it's important because I feel like there's so many... Because my, my goal is to have dark-skinned women. I mean, all black, all women of color can benefit from this. 
But dark skinned women, I feel like we get treated like now, right now, I feel like our skin is trending. But it the way that people used to approach me used to make me just be like, like the backhand compliments and stuff like that. I wouldn't with it. And people would be like, I don't know why you taking it like this. I said that. And I'm like, but if I gave you a compliment and said, but beside it, like it, it negates everything you said. So since we right there, you know what I'm saying, we just ease into the next. So um, I know you have your own platform that you're trying to raise awareness for the black like dark skinned woman. Dark skin. Right? Or just dark skin in general. Mm -hmm. So when you first heard, you know, you, um, you're cute for a dark skinned woman or a dark skinned woman, like what did that make you feel and why are you trying to change the narrative? Or just stop the, though, that phrase in general. You're cute for a dark girl, like you know. Honestly, when I was it. when I first heard it, I was I was little. Mm -hmm. So the fact that anybody was telling me I was cute, I kind of was happy about it. Like oh, because I did see other girls that looked like me, but people weren't weren't necessarily saying that about them. Gotcha. So I was like I was happy about it, but then it's just like I remember a guy telling me like you would be so cute if you was light skinned and i was so confused by that because it was the dude i had a crush on and i was just like hold on wait would you okay. and in my head i'm like so am i am i ugly or is it is it my skin like what's up hmm. and i was confused about it but it's because i didn't feel like my mother she's chocolate but my mother has never focused on how like raising me she's never focused me like made me pay attention to what i look like mm -hmm. and it's just what it was so i never paid attention to it until other people started saying that but as i got older people saying you know you cute for a dark skin so i started saying uh giving the same responses based off of what it, it was about them for instance all right thank you you cute for a light-skinned dude and people look puzzled. Oh, you cute for a heavy dude. You cute to be fat. And then like people don't like that. And I'm like, oh, you you don't like that? Because obviously me and being dark skin means that I'm not supposed to be cute. And obviously to me, you being your size or you being the way you look for, or you being a short dude, mm -hmm. to me, you're not supposed to be cute. But you exceeded that. But you don't like that. So don't say that to people. And people are like, why are you so heavy about that? I'm like, because you don't give nobody no compliment like that. You'd be cute if your hairline wasn't receding. You'd be cute if you had your edges. Like, what? What are you talking about? Oh, You'd be cute. Keep that on. Keep that on. There was no shade. No, but, but, but you see what I'm saying? Like, if, if what you perceive you to be negative, you trying to project it on me and tell me that I'm supposed to be okay with me being cute for the exception of what you thought I wasn't going to be. Like, that's trash. And I don't necessarily condemn people for it, but I like let them know like that's not okay and I don't accept it mm -hmm. and people were like hey, like one dude got mad me and my friend we were out and a dude got mad when he complimented me he was like I'm just trying to tell you you cute baby I don't need that I know I look good like I ain't pressed about it and I don't want Talk anybody else like this chocolate that feel like I would be cute if nah you look good the way you is like the way you are and I want that to be because like that confidence if you focus on what you looking like, you can't even focus on what you doing. Mm -hmm. Like, like I understand why, you know, schools like to have uniforms. Mm -hmm. Because kids are so young, focused on what they learn, they can't even focus on their schoolwork because I don't want this student over here that got the J's to talk about me. Mm -hmm. Like, I see why certain things are implemented now. But I want, like, my chocolate girls that, that aim to be something better than what they or to be able to focus on that and not, you know, worry about nobody sighing, you know, just trying to push you off to the side or whatever. Yeah. Like, so how do you how do you feel when people call you guys darkies? Yeah, because okay. Dan, let's do, let's do Dan it. thinks he's a dark skinned man. I am a dark skinned man. So, so he thinks he can call y'all darkies. No, um, Dan don't call me darky. I don't, because you gotta know what never. You, I, no, listen. Dan has, has never, Dan has never called me darky. I'm gonna turn my hat for it. Okay. Cause it's the reality. Me and Shay okay. had a conversation. Okay. Okay. It just takes a conversation. It takes a conversation. Some <laughs> shit, like, cause I'ma be a person to let you know. Some shit don't come from malice. Some stuff don't come from like any 
that that place of negativity. Some stuff is just like a slang or like, hey, this is like, I, if I call myself like I'm a dark well, you just made it gr- like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so at that point, it's gonna take a conversation with whoever you're talking to. But I guess when, you y'all, when y'all call us light bright, that's low key disrespectful. But and yet, yeah. and yet, and, I, like sometimes I want to talk to somebody. Like, and yet, and yet, at the same time, most mo- most people, I will say, genuinely aren't coming from like. A conscious, I don't know, like that, the light bright shit that you you trying to say some shit. I feel well, like a lot of times I, people went like, because like it's, because negativity is not necessarily attached to the term light bright. A lot of people may not take it that way. I can't say this yeah. true. Like what else, black <laughs> ass. Well, okay, that's deep. <laughs> Like that's not what up like right You know, right. I just I, I come from back. You I, you throw something, I'm throwing it back, you know, because that's just Right, but and at the same time, you what it is. You can say something that but I don't come, I, I, I just don't come like, What up, Darky? You, you, I don't want to come out like that, but but, but I, you, Hey light skin. Hey light right. Who the fuck you talking to? See, but that's the thing. You see in that me. in that moment, right? That person not thinking in a negative way, you have a negative when has that ever been positive on that? though. So at that when point When has that ever been positive? Which what? Calling somebody a light bright or yellow. A lot of times, oh, honestly. Yo, your little yellow ass. Google or just mom, a t- just a term. Like, Google Google light bright on your Facebook and see how many girls have that as their Facebook name. You, I, oh, it's okay to call a girl you, light bright though. But you get what I'm saying? It's the same thing as dark. Like you ain't like, gonna see like I mean, but also you will see a lot of girls that are dark skin that might have something like black something. But it's just a, chocolate, like chocolate maker screen. Chocolate and whoa. <laughs> hey, that's hey, her screen. This kid's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it just, Hershey's cookies. You feel me? Hershey. So when somebody say chocolate, a lot of times you're not offended because chocolate is good. I like chocolate. See, but well, uh, so, and dark chocolate is better for yeah. you. Next. I don't, I don't even like. I don't even like sweets like that, so I can't even say that. See, see, yeah. I feel like but I mean, it just it depends on what you grew up around and what they yeah. made acceptable to you. Well, we didn't my, grew up saying yellow my, until I got to St. Louis, and I'm just like, I guess that's what y'all do. But if you this didn't like it, you you tell them, right? That's it, bro. It's a just like that's what I have thing. to do. It's just more so annoying because every new person you meet, you have to tell them that because it's normalized for it's people normalized. to say stuff like that to dark skin mm-hmm. girls. You know what I mean? Like across and the then, And then it's supposed to be accepted. So when we get upset about it, they're like, I don't know what you're tripping off of. Cause Ain't I, nobody cause, said nothing bad about you. And then it up the whole mood, the vibe, and it's just like, I don't even want to call, call all that stuff. When you could have asked me my name. Yeah. Or you could have not said nothing to me. That's fact. You could have what's up? You know what I'm saying? Something. I don't know. But, yeah. you know, people are. You know, and, and so, I mean, at that point, we, we can really say, right, because the, 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 the debate, what, a couple months back was prejudice. Versus preference, right? Like you remember. So at that point, where do you draw the line between a person saying, like, based off of my preference, like, I didn't. Yes, I didn't think that you like I would be attracted to this, and you have made me attracted to this. Oh, I heard that before too. Okay. You the first dark skin girl that I've talked. Like, but but it's a real like. There's a a, a the thing body is, you got from pause, body type. So, why are you, uh, why you feel said, the need to the tell me? Light skinned nigga with a beard, I would talk to. You. Like with a beard, I would talk to. You. Like with a beard, I would talk to. You. Like with a beard, I would talk to. You. Like oh my god! <laughs> I'm like really? <laughs> beard. Who said why that? do we stretch this? Who said that? Who who told Tell you me. beard? <laughs> I just want to know who this, told you not, beard. Hold on, look. This, this, this has to be hair. within the last two years. <laughs> Easy, right? I didn't tell you that. That's as long so, as we've <laughs> Can we can we call them? I'm just saying his beard is. Can we call it's them? Not a it's beard, very lovely. Jay? It's very lovely. Jay, it's not a beard. You don't see this, Jay. That's not a beard. You don't see this. Don't Just, let him. Don't let him do this to y'all. Gotta hey, tell the truth. When they when I for nothing, but I almost. When they, what? Would you shave this morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta let him get it out. Don't okay. cut him off. You know what? Too you shave. almost what? Yeah, let him talk. You know, I did shave my hair. I had it. It's like everyday type of thing because it goes back really fast. Mm. But at the time when mm. I, I felt so appreciative, I was like, my, "You like my beard? <laughs> Why are we calling it a beard?" <laughs> He's in the facial hair category. That's it. 
<laughs> they might not even have you. Uh, I did, I did. Like I was video chatting him one day, and I was just like, it was funny because I was like, oh man, I I do see it. Now I have to admit. Yeah, now it. you gotta admit, right? And now and now he won't. Now he won't kill it. <laughs> it's not gonna die. Mind you, it took him. You know what I'm saying twenty look, eight look, look, years look, look, to get there. Look. And you know what? We proud of the we gonna, progress. We're gonna crop that part out. No, no, we don't want people to know the truth. You know what I'm saying? You don't want them to know how you really live. Hey, man, the thing See, is. Dermal Rollins? I'm just blessed, you know. I make sure I take care of my, my that face. That was a hater mark, though. That was hater. That was like. Yes, I make sure I take care of my face. I use the juices and berries and guys. Man, can you get to the next question? Juices and berries. Juices and berries and guys and grab. You, you feel me? So. Do you have any future plans and goals that you want to achieve this year? Of course. Um, because it's it's like, okay, so the Black Panther 2 coming out and I really so if anybody I didn't know that. I didn't know that. anybody knows, anybody that could neck me, because I feel like those are my cousins. I feel like I could I mean like for real though, I could send y'all um something in, yeah. Forever. Forever. <laughs> but um I do I want to be in some films. Um, I'm trying to get my acting. I am getting my acting experience up. I've been taking some classes and um, just trying to get more experience so that I could be able to to comfortably say that I am a, a professional. Mm -hmm. Like I will, I want to be able to be on that platform. Mm -hmm. um, modeling that model, the modeling platform has allowed me to be able to do that. But um, I want to start my YouTube that I've been telling myself I was going to start, and um, I had a couple of setbacks, but now I got some time to do it. To show either like it'll be me speaking on my experience as a model trying to get in entertainment how i've been able to navigate it like uh how i do this as a chocolate woman what are the obstacles i've dealt with how i've overcome them like just like things like that that people keep asking me like i'll get emails and people like so what are you doing what are you doing and i mean the first thing like i, I listened to will smith he said something that kind of caught my attention he said people will approach him and be like, you know, I want to be just like you. I want to be an actor just like you. And the first thing he'll be like, so what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times nobody can tell him mm -hmm. what they're doing. And it's like, if you want to be just like me, you should already be in the works of trying to get that together. So like, that's the starting point. Like, what are you doing on your own without anybody's help to be able to get you on that playing field? Okay. And then from there, like, because if I was to say, okay, I like you. I want you to work for me, but you've never done this. Like, I don't want to have to necessarily walk you through this whole process mm -hmm. when I can get somebody that's already trying to do this so um those are the things I want to speak on some platforms um I have some friends that are doing work since work in school want to help uplifting women of color I definitely believe representation is a big thing it'll help women um focus on their full potential or what they have to offer and not be afraid to break barriers a lot of times people are scared to reach after things because they don't want to be like I said, the trailblazers. I don't want to be the person to fight all of this to get to this. Mm -hmm. So that's why people don't aim after what they want. Um, so hopefully I can give them some inspiration by me doing some of the things and like overcoming some of the obstacles that I've already, I've had to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, networking and then breaking outside of St. Louis and things like that. I want to be able to show that to somebody. So hopefully that somebody that is inspired could go after their own dreams. Okay. And I'm not even talking about just acting and modeling. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like women in STEM. Like I'm, I'm such a major fan of women that are really good at science and math because it's it don't come to me like that. Right. So right. I think it's dope. Yeah, so that's it might not be our generation. That's no, it definitely is. That's our generation, bro. It definitely that broke is. The, 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 these kids smart as hell. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think that like they, they they're more the technology savvy generation. That's what I'm saying. So like, okay. but are they, uh, uh, that's that's another topic because I mean it depends on what your focus is and a lot of now is like a lot of people are not just they don't feel like it's one way to get to, to their dreams and yeah. so I'm happy to see that because at first it was like okay graduate high school go to college that's it. and now it's just like mm, graduate high school start my business I might go back to school oh okay well I do believe in secondary education whether it's a trade or oh, whether it's an apprenticeship or whether you know picking up something so I want to inspire women that look like me to be able to do that and we jamming, don't get me wrong, yeah. but I need people to understand that I'm not a trend. Like, I'm going to always look like this. Mm -hmm. 
So as long as I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm going to always set that bar for what it is I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to end because dark skin women is out or, you know, whatever Clean. trending. Yeah, whatever, whatever's going on. I feel that. Stop. Yep. So okay. like, let's pull up this roster of people that told you about this beard. Because <laughs> I feel like it, it would just... Hmm. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to do a spit fire question round. Oh, you know. What if I don't go fast enough? I mean, not like a fast situation. Uh, okay. These are just questions. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So, is there anybody you would like to meet or work with? And if so, who? I want to meet Morgan Freeman. Okay. I feel like that's I'm my granddaddy. I feel like, no. I just feel like uh, that's my granddaddy. As far as an actor, he's so wise. I love his spirit. Like uh, he's always seeming to be in good spirits. And um, he got a dope voice, and okay. I want to do voiceovers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I just I would like to get some words of wisdom from him and um, Will Smith, which is really odd because like there are a lot of dope female actresses and stuff out there, but I I do want to meet Will Smith and Morgan Freeman. Okay, Will Smith, cool oh, though. First off. I'll be watching, you know what I'm saying? Follow him on the Instagram, man. Yeah, he's dope. Like, like, <laughs> they basically live in Budapest. Like, they basically live in Ordinary, California somewhere, which is funny. Man, it's gross. Yeah. If you were going to be in any type of movie, what would it be? Ooh. And you mean like a genre or? Yeah. yeah. Or just any movie? I, I want to be in an action movie. I would be in like we'll Black be, Panther. Okay, so what would be your role? You'd be on in the army. In yeah. The army? Yeah. Okay. I do. I really want to be like. I, that's why I started trying to get back in the gym. I got to be a little consistent with that because not only, I mean, I do feel like I have uh, what it takes to be in that role, but you got to look like it too. So yeah, I just got to get yeah, fit again, yeah. like my my track days. Get back out there. I feel you. Okay. So what is the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? Is it not inspiring that I'd be like, I want some water? I just, I've been needing some water. I'll be so <laughs> But the simple but then, things in life matter working out in sleep. I wake up and I'd be like, dang, I'm about to die. Uh, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know, first, say I'm like, I need a humidifier. Yeah. Um, but I do, I, I do think about like how I'm going to, because at night sometimes I don't get to sleep like I want to because I'd be like, I could be doing this today. Mm -hmm. And Sometimes I don't know how I could be doing a certain something. So I'll be wondering like, how can I do that? And then what can I do today that's going to help me be able to get to that? Mm -hmm. um, it's never anything in particular because my mind is always over the place. So one day it may be like, okay, you may need to get to the gym because you know, your arms got to look like this or your legs got to look like this. And then the next day it's like, okay, well, you do better when you like trying to memorize your lines this way. So how could you make that a little more efficient? How could you learn them a little faster in a shorter time frame so that when it is like you have something, you got to spit a monologue or something. How can you be prepared for that? It, it really is something different every day. And sometimes it's just little stuff. How can you not be late to something today, Shay? Mm -hmm. Take how can you, for yourself and yeah, this, how can you audition a little better? It's, yeah. it's always something different, but like, in the last like six months, that's kind of what's been on my mind. Like, oh man, I gotta do it, and I don't know why I feel like I've been rushed, but um, you feel like you're being rushed right now. I feel like I'm rushing myself, and that's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It might be some fire being lit up under my mm -hmm. ass because it's like this is the time for you to go all out. It's a new a yeah. new start. What did Brian say about damn time? About damn <laughs> hey, hey, you needed this trade. That's how hey, yeah, that, hey, God, God right. put you in certain positions, right? Come on now. That that force you to do it. Yeah. Right? That force you to be like, you know what? Huh. You take too long on your on your time and mine. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I feel. He's like, all right, I gave you this amount of time. But, like, when I played, that it, it wanted it. either now or never. Not it. Now or never, and it was just like, yeah. I definitely agree with that. So, would you rather be hot or cold? Hot. Hot, okay. Emos or pie? Emos. Okay. This guy. All right. What is pie? Like three one four. Three one four pie. Oh, three one. Like they in the loop. Yeah. Oh. Like right. actually, what a pizza is a pie. Okay. I mean. He said actually, what a pizza is a pie. I mean, but he. I'm thinking. Ain't that like, what they? I mean, it's Italian. It they call it a pie. Not emos. Mm -hmm. Emos. Okay. Um. What is your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Other than we just livers. Uh. She likes some. She likes some. What's it called? Bait. Vapor, vapor, vapor. Oh, Vapor Max? Vapor Max. That's what she likes those. She likes the same ones. 
Tina. What? Sketches. Sketches? You a sketches? Ain't no wrong with sketches. They, as a model, one can say that's probably your most comfortable shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you saw them having a memory foam? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, we just lived that memory foam. You finished? You're done. I like the ones. I like them. It's between them. I go, I used to love like the dunks in high school. Okay. okay. So, I give you those. The ones. I, I, had, I had some dunks. You had the all black ones? I mean, all black ones? I, no. Okay, good. You know, I got multi colored ones. I got. Don't limit. Don't limit. First off, what is your favorite drink? Like, my favorite alcoholic beverage or like my favorite anything to drink? Any, I mean, anything. Let's okay. eat both. You might as well eat both. Okay. Alcoholic and I like alcoholic. A, alcoholic, I love a tequila sunrise. Okay. That's my favorite drink. Look, wow. I love that. Yeah. But then like outside of that, I love tea. I love sweet tea. Okay. Let's talk about tea fire. Hmm? Tea fire. Mm -hmm. Tea is good. Yes, no. Tea is good. It's I'll be dehydrated, good. but we don't do it. <laughs> Jay, we can't deal with Jay because to be honest, <laughs> he don't do nothing with citrus. <laughs> you know, he can only do that so long. Yeah. You know what I'm tea is alright. Tea that boy is crazy. <laughs> Your palate is trash. Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> this my, my palate may be too advanced. Uh, so, for nothing. Okay. So, uh, for nothing. <laughs> what was your favorite shoe? I want to know that. Your favorite shoe. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, it was a shoe with uh, Rob Cannon. And it was the shade shoe. Mm -hmm. And it was me and a couple of other models of different shades. So, like, from... A lighter version of a black woman to me as the darkest on that spectrum. It was so far and it went viral so many times. I'm trying to figure out was it? It wasn't last year. It was the year before last. It felt like was it last year? It doesn't feel like. It's 2020. It's 2020. was fast. First off, let's talk yeah. about it. Oh God. It may have been 18 for real. I feel like it was 2018. Yeah. But um, that. That dope was so, it was so fun to me because um, that was the first time I had met them girls and they are now like my model sisters. Mm -hmm. So I, I see them doing their own thing and they like jamming and stuff, but it just showcased all the, the beauty because although I am so super pro dark skin women, it's not me saying nobody else is beautiful or anything, but I understand where other chocolate women come from. Mm -hmm. And I had to let people know that like, we just not only, you know, like there's other darker complected women there are mm -hmm. women in right. india that are dark skinned that are not african-american and they're going to do something a little more harder you know they're dealing with something their because they're still very much very much rich. yeah you know like at and least. that's that's preventing them to do a lot of things and i mean across the world people are looking at that but it just showcased the beauty and all mm -hmm. of it like that that shoe was so far and the vibe was so dope and we just had so much fun and we just we got some really good shots yeah I feel that. Okay, what's your favorite sports team? The Saints. Okay. Saints. Don't start. Did they win today? Hey, that's real. Did they I feel like they got knocked out of the playoffs. I thought you were going to say something. Like they Tom Brady, Brady beat him? No, he, he, first of all, Tom Brady got knocked out of the playoffs okay. yesterday. Okay, cool. By cool. the Texans. By the Texans. I'm not going to put that out there. The Eagles are playing right now. Though. You finish. Um, <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Hmm. I would make people. Uh, <laughs> I would make people lose their memory. No, that, that why? didn't happen. Why? That didn't happen. No, why? why? <laughs> that didn't happen. Hmm? I, I need to know. It didn't happen. Reason. Reason. I feel like I. I mean, and then I'd be able to choose which memory they're able to lose. Um, because I don't feel like it's, she mad. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> got all A's on that text. <laughs> but you really got F's. <laughs> Confidence go up. I mean, <laughs> I had a million dollars. You, <laughs> you making somebody forget what they said doesn't mean they're gonna automatically agree with what you are saying. Yeah. However, um, because I don't necessarily feel like I need to be spending all my energy redoing stuff or having anybody else redo something. But if I make you forget, now you gotta start over. And I mean, yeah. if you if you can repeat that thing again, then I mean, you really are as dope as you need to be. And I'm gonna leave it alone, probably, if it works in my favor. That's real. That's real. So if you were stuck on an island with three things, what would you bring? Oh wow. Uh <laughs> hmm. Something to get me off the island. Okay. Hmm. 
So that'd be like a canoe, a little inflatable boat. How how far is the island away from anything? No, no, it's it's just, ain't nothing close. <laughs> So the boat might not be working. <laughs> so maybe maybe a plane? Mm. How can you bring a plane with you? First off, you, you didn't there's say no what size this island People is. Just don't you didn't say what? Right, where you, you going to pull it? You know how to fly the plane? But that don't matter. You know how to, you going to pull the plane oh, with you? So, so I have to actually bring it with me? Yes. Okay. Why well, can't you bring the plane? Because, I mean, essentially, you'd How's be, gonna be bring flying. How's you going to bring a plane, then? She'd be flying I mean, the plane. And you're not going to fly the plane? Two thing. It don't make a difference. You said You're going to fly that bitch right into the ocean. You said what? Cool. I'm going to do a lot of stuff in the middle of the ocean Thank because you. I'm stuck in the ocean. So you got to make something. She don't get to die early. No. Whoa. It's like if I'm in the middle of the island and you're telling me I don't have a plane nearby or nothing that was already there. Yeah, it's survival. You'll figure it out. Oh, that's why she's So, her, you don't have a plane. plane. <laughs> you don't have a plane. You have a plane that you're going to go into the ocean with. I what have else? a plane. Um, I, but honestly, I'd probably have, I mean, some water. Some water, water, yeah. That's but, you can, but you can purify the water. That's, she she got to have all the equipment for it. I'm just, just saying. So, water, but it really ain't. Okay, so. I've seen, I've been struck. Kenya just got theirs. They got one. They just got one. Solar panel. Mm -hmm. uh, solar panel. panels. Just I watched this thing on YouTube, right? This man had to, he was stuck in on the ocean for three weeks. Mm -hmm. And he had to, if he had one, if he wanted to drink water, he had to, it's like a little with incubator mm -hmm. where you put the water in, but the water doesn't go that fast. Right. So you, that's a lot of time that you're going to be needing. I mean, but she, but she, she got some bottle of water somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you bring a, a lifetime, I would bring supply. a lifetime supply. Lifetime of water. supply of water. People don't be thinking in these real questions. I really want people to understand because people think that you have to be still trapped on the island. If, if you are trapped on the island and I I choose to bring with me something to get me off this motherfucker, I have that's no why trap. I said the plane. Because if I can bring a lifetime supply of water, water and then if I can carry it in two hands, that means I'm pretty sure I can get off the island. But how can you? Okay. Yep. How did I bring this lifetime supply? If somebody okay. bringing it to me when they leave, I'm leaving with them. That's a good question. So you got a plane. That so I changed my mind. A can of paper and some tequila, cause you stress me. I can stress you that's, out. That's too good. A, a pen, pen, paper, okay. and tequila. Look at that. I, I would. He's gonna count it as one thing. Cause or? initially I wasn't finna be trapped on the island. I was gonna get a plane, and I was gonna be gone. But I it was gonna have access. So, I mean. Well, maybe one of them boat planes. Yeah, that's exactly. That's that's first one I'm thinking of. What's it called? What's that show? That little cartoon with the bear. Remember back in the day, you say smoking. Smoking the bear. Smoking the bear in the fly plane. He wasn't on the water. He prevented forest fires. And I'm not in the forest. I'm on an island. Okay, keep going. This. If you could work with anybody dead or alive, who would you? Who would that be? You get the soul. Take it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, it's a lot of great people, but I think I like I'd work with Issa right now. Issa, okay. Issa. We could, um, because I think that I mean, there's a she lot of history. Right now. There's a lot of history that could be made with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely believe in it, and I mean, you know, there, are, there are people who have done a lot of things in the past, but I mean, let them lay where they are and let them be, let their legacy live through what we're doing now. Like, I think it's time to stop, like, trying to mess with that type of stuff. And it's like, what you going to do with it in the future? He's going to see this. I just want you to know that. So you about to get a job <laughs> the next couple hours. I hope so. I know some people working with her. I'm just letting you know the truth. She clowning, <laughs> but I, I am, I'm a fan of her work, so. Okay. Uh, weekends or weekdays? Four. Oh God! So you like better? I mean, for what? You can do anything with any day, actually. Weekdays, you right? Cause I got the whole weekday to kick it. Like the weekends, you you shouldn't be living your life for the weekends. Ah. Uh, hmm. Would you rather be a successful model or actress? Actress. Okay. Cool. Why? Um, it's more it's more I can do with that. Uh -huh. Like right. models, models tend to become actresses or get acting roles or something. And a lot of people you see on the front of the magazines that we read, like they don't even be models. 
Like the the front page, they they be entertainers that we love. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to be a model to be on something. You don't have That's to true. be a model to be the face brand of anything. Like a lot of people aren't models. Like it's it's a platform. It's a platform. You it see is. my it face, is. but when you see my face, you want to know what do I do? Do mm-hmm. I is that all I do? And then when you Google that person, you be like, oh, this person's a singer. See, I was always. Uh... One of the people that like Jet Magazine. Oh, okay. Be- I he was going to say something. Else. Because. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a fan. You're like you're a singer. No, I, yours true. Maybe yours true, but that's a whole, that's my past. Like, that's, that's, that's my past. Can you sing? <laughs> Can I sing? Stop. Hey, who do you teach how to sing? Let her know. Who I teach? Who you teach? Shh. What? Who you teach? If I can tell you, boy. You ain't got no sign in the So you can't. I can't. can't Confidential clauses. Confidentiality. He's not an NDA. NDA. So, but nevertheless, they know who I didn't touch. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, just why you let him lie? I'm just letting you touch. know. I just want you to know that I was a fan of Jet Magazine because it actually gave you like the like the story, the bio right. of the of the models. Right. So I'd be sitting there like, oh, she bad. And she's a chemist. <laughs> oh, she went to school. Oh, she, to school. Oh, she got she a like game. hanging out with friends. So you know, like, what? Hey, so you be like these is just regular people that look good, and somebody saw them to look good enough to photo, put a photo to it, and then all of a sudden, because it's a whole hustle outside whole of that, hustle. like outside of that picture, like people straight like <laughs> at my job when I used to go to work, they be like, I think I seen you on something. Mm-hmm. They was like, did you just do a shoot for it? A hair shoot or something like that, and I was just like, "Yeah, what made you say that?" Shout out to Malika. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Malika. Shout out to Rob Shopping too. too. Yeah. Shout out to him. He's really cool. I just got shooting before. Yeah, he dope. Yeah. Um, but like when when people say that and then they see you and they they trying to figure out is that you because I'm not <laughs> glammed up like mm-hmm. that or I don't have like the long hair. Um, a shoot that I just recently did with Estella Hairco. Mm-hmm. Um like a wig shoot and they was just like oh my gosh you did a shoot with this swimsuit and this wig and i was like i'm like what are they talking about yeah. you know and i was like oh yeah and they was like i didn't know that was you and so it's like you kind of don't know if you want to be offended like you calling me ugly or was it that good and i just be like yeah that, that was me people so, give me this stuff too when i have my, when my let my beard grow out yeah when you cut it off and then when i cut they're like oh i, I didn't think I, yeah because your beard mean. usually covering up your face yeah that's and dope so, I just gotta keep. I gotta keep a clean face. How does that make you feel? When uh, when it don't show up. <laughs> when it don't show up. <laughs> you know. Oh I, this is so fat. You know what I'm saying? So it don't show up. <laughs> like so when I have twenty eight years. When I had to cut. When I had to make. When I had to make sure I have this. You know the baby face. When they when they always notice who yeah. you were because you just didn't um, change it. You know when I, when I have to keep it this month, I realized that I have a certain style to uphold because some people are ready for the next level. of of, you, of bro. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you edit this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 so, 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 I, we need to make sure that this part. <laughs> we it's definitely going to make it in there. <laughs> um, so, our new segment we have uh, when you posted this, what did it mean? So, we uh, searched your Instagram mm-hmm. and we seen some cool things. So, you know, we seen this and especially the top of topics we're on right now. We just want you to elaborate what you uh what you meant by this post and we'll we're going to post it on there. So Okay. Pay attention to your patterns. The ways you learn to survive may not be the ways you want to continue to live, heal and shift. I posted that because um I realized that there were some ways that I were treating that I that I had begun to treat people and it was a reflection of things that I was not so confident or comfortable in. So it was an insecurity mind of mine and because of that I would kind of waterproof situations so that it wouldn't go a particular way. Mm-hmm. In that instance I had cut off people from me seeing their full potential whoever they were in my mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And um, that was a survival tactic that I had, you know, a way to cope because I had dealt with people not coming through the way that they said they were going to. Mm-hmm. So if I waterproof it, I don't have to even depend on you to do nothing for me. So, you know, but we all need something from somebody else. Mm -hmm. People be like, I don't need nothing from nobody. Whether you, it's a, you come to this person for a laugh. You come to this person for advice. You may come to this person for a hug. You may need some love. You may need some money. You may need a ride. You may need something from somebody else, but that's why they're there. Mm -hmm. You may just enjoy their company. And 
I had started waterproofing people to where nobody could do anything for me. And it's not that, excuse me, I, it's not that I didn't need stuff from other people. I didn't want to have to depend on other people. But I was like, at a really bad point, I was breaking down. And I needed help. And it's just like, I couldn't continue to do that to people. So I had to let go of that and shift every, like, everything that I was doing, how I was approaching situations, and let that go. You, you got to let all of that go because it wasn't going to allow me to elevate the way that I wanted to in order for me to walk into who I felt like I wanted to be. So, I just... Recognizing that, though, is a huge step. Off, off yeah. right but even yeah. recognizing it is one thing, but acting on it is another thing. Right. And it just, it took a lot. It took a lot because I had to make myself do it. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. I knew it was necessary and I wouldn't, I didn't want to because I'm like, no, I'm cool. I, you know, and it's like, no, you're not cool. And then you're not being cool. You're hurting other people. You're hurting relationships. You're doing things that are not necessary. And then you're going to be in this hole and then it's like, okay, what you going to do after that? Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Okay. And this is second picture, the last picture. When you posted this, what did you mean? You never know who you're inspiring. So, um, like I said before, like I've, I've run into people who, you know, people would inbox me or people would email me or I would even see people in random places and they'd be like, I like what you're doing. You know, like I want to, I've heard people say I want to be like you and like, I guess in my head, I didn't think that I was in a place where people felt they wanted to be like me. It's like, girl, we work together. What are you talking about? Well, like, you know what I'm saying? But when people say stuff like that to you, it's like, dang. I'm out here and I feel like I'm struggling. I'm trying to make this work. I'm trying to make the best decisions for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to uh, not ex not only exceed what I've seen people do around me, but exceed what I used to be like used to be doing. And I don't want to be where I was at last year. I don't want to be where I was at two years ago. And the, I think the biggest issue that I had is like I wasn't consistent. Yeah, I could do some stuff, but I wasn't consistently doing it because I wasn't believing in myself like mm -hmm. I should have. Mm -hmm. But on the other end, I have people that are just like, Shay, you so dope. And I didn't believe it to the point where I just sometimes thought people was lying to me. Like, they were just saying it just to have conversation starters. Mm -hmm. Like, girl, I seen your work, and it's just like... Did you really? Did, you know, did you I, really I, like I it? But, you feel. Like, but you can't you can't think like that because you'll move that way. You'll mm -hmm. move like somebody did something to you, and they didn't do anything but say, I like what you did, and now you walking around with a chip on your shoulder and it's like I don't want to be like that but I and it's, it doesn't really happen to me I've seen other people do it to other people like in this industry in St. Louis mm -hmm. I've seen somebody say you know I don't like X, Y, and Z about this person and then you see them posted on a picture or you see them and I'm just like I don't want to be a part of that but people they, they would say you know you know, I like what you're doing. You know, I said I want to get in the model and I'm about to start doing it again. I'm like, really? Because I took a picture? And then it'll make me smile and it make me feel good. So, it's just me it's me telling myself that even though you're not where you want to be, somebody want to be where you want to be at. That's nice. So, our last question is, you know, how would you like to be remembered? How would you? Uh... Overall, I want to be remembered as someone that helped dark-skinned women understand that you are not limited to the box that people put you in. Like, in this world now, um, as much as people, like, I, I didn't hear white people say that people aren't prejudiced like they used to be before. And it's like, where? You know, when you go to other cities and stuff, you see how real it is. It's, people are still racist. And then um, colorism is really real within the black community. And people kind of brush it up under the table like it's not a thing. And I, I want them to understand you. You can be like you literally can be exactly who you say you are. If you walk in and you're that, who who going to tell you otherwise? Mm -hmm. Like you, you are exactly what you walk in. And if you're consistently doing it and your work is reflecting that, then nobody can knock you down. And I just want us to understand that. Like, don't allow nobody to tell you that you're not beautiful because what the standard of beauty was didn't necessarily reflect us at one point in time. Mm -hmm. Or if it did, it was only certain looks. Like, 
I've had people say, every, when I started modeling, people would say, would you cut your, you gonna cut your hair bald? Because the only standard of beauty for somebody in my yeah, complexion was, was like, a left foot. Right. So I'm like, so I have to be dark skinned and bald headed to be a successful model. And I'm like, mm. that's trash. We don't all look the same. We don't all have the same attributes. And I, I didn't like that. And that was just the, the one thing everybody wanted to say. And I have so much hair, like up under the weave and the wigs and stuff that I be wearing. I'm just like, why do I have to look like her? You want her, you go pay for her. But you can't afford her, so stop it. So to know, I want I want to be remembered as somebody that knew her potential, that found her potential, that found her way, that went for everything she wanted to do and was able to open doors and able to inspire women that look like her to go after what they want to do and be able to open doors for people behind them. Like, what is the, the purpose of getting so high up and closing the door on everybody behind you? Mm -hmm. Like, well, what is the purpose of not being reachable? And I mean, sometimes you have to cut off access to get where you're going, but you don't have to keep it cut off. And, and we're supposed to be uplifting and bringing each other up. So I, I want to be remembered for that and to not, you know, necessarily be um, putting anybody else down. I want to inspire. I do. I feel like I'm doing it, but I don't feel like I'm doing it the way I want to. So. Okay. okay. Any questions for us? Can I get a t-shirt? Just like that, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm Period. There's a yeah. You gonna, can I get a t-shirt? <laughs> you got plenty of t-shirts. Yeah, you can get another t-shirt. Yeah, I want another t-shirt. So when I, when I wear my t-shirt... What color you want? I want some new colors because the mm -hmm. winter is about to be... I think I'm going to get into the color purple. For some reason, I'm, I'm leaning toward that. Like oil purple. purple? Yeah, purple and red. Well, no, no more like a... A lavender, like that. Would you call that royal purple? Mm, like <laughs> that might be just. But I don't. Purple. I don't. I don't want a free T-shirt. I want to buy it from you. Yeah, I would expect you to buy it from me. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At this point, yeah. No. Yeah. no. Nobody gets anything for free. Not even my mom gets anything for free. They pay. I'm gonna steal a T-shirt. Oh, stealing is another case. Yeah. <laughs> that's a law for that one. That's not shame on that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any events coming up? What is it? Hey, we don't know that. Do you have any events or anything coming up you want to plug? Uh, ooh. There is a show coming up on January the 18th. The anomaly is Jay Stockton. It's her one off show for her brand. Uh, can I pull up the rest of it? Ooh. That's fine. Yeah. That's what this platform is for. Sprinkle a little. I think I got to meet her a couple times. I think last, I think She's I met her super at sweet. T Moore's where you got to meet the designers. Behind, I forgot what it was called, but it was like behind the something. It was at a um, shit. I don't even know where it is, but it was nice venue. <laughs> but I got to meet her, and it was pretty dope. She really cool. She. Uh, I'll be in an anomaly fashion show January eighteenth on. Uh, I'm sorry, at the last hotel. 1501 Washington Ave uh, by Jay Stocking. Uh, she'll be doing her event for Designs by Jay Stocking. So I'll be there if you want to come see me. Tickets, you can get them. Uh, they're MLK weekend. And you can go to J-S-T-O-C-K-I-N-G-14 on IG and uh, get your tickets from her link from there. So. We appreciate y'all tuning in. This is the More Than Love Podcast. We out. We out.